Maria Bailey uh, took a case against the Dean Hotel for uh, personal injuries she alleged she suffered after falling off a swing while on a night out at the hotel mm. uh, in July uh, 2015. She also uh, made a claim for uh, medical expenses. Uh, these included uh, 1,200 euro in hospital expenses and uh, a smaller sum in dental expenses. Now she alleged that um, the hotel was negligent because the swing she was on was unsupervised mm. and uh, she said that there was no signage there instructing patrons how to safely okay. use the swing. Mm. Uh, the hotel completely denied the claims, denied mm. liability. They accepted that, yes, the swings were unsupervised, but they said it was her negligence or uh, contributory negligence mm. which uh, led to her falling off the swings. In particular, it said that she had uh, two items in, uh, an item in each hand, okay. and that this uh, would have affected her balance and her ability to hold on to the, uh, the ropes properly. As part of her claim, um, uh, this was outlined in what's called an endorsement of claim. This is a, uh, a document which accompanies a uh, personal injury summons and it sets out what um, uh, a claimant feels they are entitled to. And the main discrepancy to emerge um, uh, since that document has been filed is that uh, in the document uh, she uh, uh, says that uh, she was unable to run uh, for three months after the incident. And okay. she's an avid runner, so this, sure. you can see that this would be something that would affect mm. her. But um, this was contra contradicted by her own social media posts, which showed her doing a 10-kilometer race just three weeks afterwards. Mm. and. Um, this was independently verified, there was a timing chip involved and she registered in the name of uh, Councillor Maria Bailey, so there was no doubt but that she did And not long after race. that emerged, she's, she's decided to drop this case. She's, that, she's that no longer going ahead with it. That's correct. There were other discrepancies as well. Oh, For example, um, uh, in the uh, endorsement of claim, it was alleged that this incident took place on July the 13th, mm. 2015. Uh, now she says this is incorrect, actually took place on uh, July the 10th. She also said she was in severe pain uh, at the time. We now know that, look, uh, despite being in severe pain, uh, she was able to keep up quite a, a busy uh, schedule in the week afterwards, mm. uh, uh, attending a number of, of events and uh, a music festival as well. Um, also um, at issue here was the fact that the, the hotel um, basically outlined um, their belief that she was holding items in both hands. And this wasn't mentioned at all in her endorsement of claim and she since uh, said that she was holding a bottle and that uh, uh, was reaching for... Just before uh, you go on, can you just uh, briefly explain what an endorsement in, in of claim is? Basically this is, a, this is a, a document that accompanies a personal injury summons and in it, it, it sets out basically what the claimant is, is looking for mm. in terms of recompense but it also has to include a significant amount of detail about mm. the uh, alleged incident being complained of. Well, what happens next in this case? Well, um, basically what we're expecting to happen next in, in terms of the court process is for uh, uh, counsel for the, uh, the hotel to go into court and to mm -hmm. basically, once um, a letter of some description has been sent to them saying, look, we are withdrawing claim, we're not sure yet if that has happened, we'll have mm -hmm. to wait and see in the court. The court will be informed of this. There's very likely to be an application from the hotel for their costs. Uh, I can't see in these circumstances how uh, Miss Bailey wouldn't uh, have to pay those costs unless there was some uh, agreement between her and the hotel. Is, why was this story and, and highlighting this case important? Well, I think it raised a number of issues of public interest here and mm -hmm. I think probably the person who's, who's most aptly uh, kind of hit, hit the nail on the head here as to why this is important mm -hmm. was uh, Michael McDool. He's an independent senator, former attorney general, former justice minister. And he basically stood up in the Shannon and suggested that the government's efforts to tackle the claims culture that, that could not be taken seriously when a Fine Gael TD was taking a case over uh, falling off a swing. He said that if the, the, the government is serious about driving down uh, the claims culture, then we could not stand idly by when adults lose their seat with two objects, one in each hand, uh, and fall off a swing and then claim that there should have been a supervisor uh, looking after them. And uh, he said this was especially so when it comes from somebody who has so much public influence and clearly uh, uh, has influence over government policy. So, um, you know, that's, that's probably the, the main, main reason why this is such an important case. Okay, thank you very much, Jen. I think there's a, a lot more to run in that story, and it'll be all covered on independent.ie and independent newspapers. Thank you.